This is Eyewitness News with live breaking news. We begin with breaking news at 11 and a brush fire exploding right next to the 118 freeway near Havenhurst in Granada Hills. Air 7 HD overhead as those flames raced up the freeway embankment and tore into a grove of trees right alongside the 118 freeway. The flames exploding into the sky, sending hot embers flying into the neighborhood nearby. Air 7 also capturing a homeowner up on their roof with a garden hose, making sure no embers catch their roof on fire. L.A. City fire crews responding using a saw to take down the chain link fence lining the freeway corridor so fire crews could get in and put water on this fire. Traffic on the 118 freeway at Havenhurst is going to be impacted for some time to come. And this fast and furious pursuit through South L.A. nearly ending in catastrophe several times. The chase kicked off after that white Cadillac sideswiped a sheriff's cruiser while they were chasing a DUI suspect. The two men inside then led officers on their own high-speed pursuit. The driver weaving through traffic, missing several cars by mere inches, at one point throwing a gun out the window. He eventually boxed himself in on a one-way street, gave himself up. The passenger bailed but was chased down and arrested several blocks away. Happening now, an investigation underway after a mother and her toddler were injured in a reported walk-up shooting in South L.A. Police have now launched an all-out search for the people responsible. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell joining us live at a hospital in Torrance with how that mother and her child are doing tonight. Amy. And Mark, neighborhood residents tell us they heard a lot of gunfire. Fortunately, the mother and child, the victims of the shooting, are in station tonight, so still searching for the suspects.